Well, as I began this venture, I just said to the Lord, you know, if I'm going to do this, and I'm a little insecure about doing this, I don't want to have to fight the performance anxiety. All those 32 years in teaching. I love teaching, but there was always that. I'm never done. I, I've never done enough. Uh, you know, it's like parenting. You can not always get to every child. And when I began to help teachers, you can't get to every teacher. And when I started this, I just asked the Lord to take away that performance anxiety. Let me totally rely on Him, that this is His thing, this is His work, and if He wants me to do it, then He needs to just do it through me, and that's exactly what He's done. Okay, so in our inspiration appointment, what I let you know is a little bit of what it's going to be like. And it's you and me talking, and here are some options of what may, we may use. This is the Conversations on Purpose for Women. This is a coaching. It's 10 weeks. This is a little book where you do homework, basically. Okay. You do some of the um, thinking and processing. You send me your answers. And I can either give you um, one that's pre-done, where you just have to do the check marks, like for instance, this kind of thing, or you can just, um, like for instance, write these spiritual habits. You just write a little paragraph or just a list of the ones you do, or if you do them all, just say, I do them all except for, you know, however you want. Okay. You want. This is really good for journeying with you seeing how you're reacting to whatever issues you're facing at the time, okay? And usually it takes much longer than 10 weeks because you have conflicts, I have conflicts, and, and that's good because we're seeing um, how you're putting this into action, okay? Now the other is a life plan, and this is more a five-year outlook. This is more, we touch a little bit on the past, the present, and the future here, but here we go into more detail. We really look at how your past, even your childhood, has, um, has played into who you are today. But then at the end, we spend a lot of time goal, setting goals, setting action steps. Not that we don't do that as we go along here, but this is kind of more in depth, where you're really trying to see the Jeremiah 29, 11 plans that God has in store for you. I've just been amazed that using these tools, which I feel are basically anointed. I, I know the author, I know her heart, I know the years that she put into designing these, and it does what it's meant to do. When people uh, take the time to go through the coaching program or the life planning program, it allows them to take a step back from their life. It, it almost is like uh, standing on a mountain looking down on your life. At 10 weeks in the coaching or the life plan is a 16 hour process. And what I see is they, they begin to see the narrative of their life, not just their single little life trying to figure out what to do and where to go, but they begin to see it from a, a godly perspective. Uh, we always start with the uh, verse Ephesians 2.10, um, that they're a poem, a, a workmanship, a masterpiece created by God to do the works that Christ Jesus planned in advance for them to do. And when you see it like that from the big God story, from the narrative that God has used every experience, every sad thing, every blessing to bring them to that point. And 
when I did my life plan, I could see that. I could see that I was called to be a teacher. But I was preparing all those years to do the life coaching. This was my ultimate. And when I look back, I think of all of the times that I was doing some of that. Did but that. God was painting the picture. He was writing the story. And the thing is, we just need to tap into the author of our life. The Lord works through it and um, helps people find direction helps guide them in the way they should go. And what a joy it is to be able to watch that happen again and again. I'm, I'm just always sure that it will happen to at least some extent for everyone who puts the time into seeking God through these materials. Hey guys, thanks for watching Cheryl Schlimpert. She is an amazing life coach and a poet. Stay, for, stay tuned for that video coming up next. In the meantime, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. That's one of the best compliments you could give. Hope you have a great day. See you in the next video.